Three, two, one. Hello, friends. This is Brain from GameBrain.media, and we're gonna play uh, Red Dead Redemption 2: Hot Air Balloon Mod, flying around the world in this um, situation. So let's see where <laughs> where are we restarting from? Aha! We did the uh, Mad. What's his name? Marco Dajic. And I realized if you flip the first letter initial of his name, it's Darko Magic. Marco Dagic? Darko Magic. Anyway, yeah, we just helped him, uh, you know, take the lightning and uh, taste taste the rainbow. Um, taste, he, he, we, we helped him taste the lightning, I guess. But we lit up his um, robot and the robot did not live. Uh, fell into a clump. But there's part two of that story coming eventually, I imagine, in the game somewhere. But our goal today is to launch from where we are. We're going to go up here by where I caught or where I shot the uh, legendary moose. And then I'm going to swing around and just follow this western border all the way down from the nor northeast corner of the map. Down the... Oh, look at that. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Can we even go across to the other side of this body of water? There's something, there's there's actually going to be a lot of stuff that I haven't done there as Arthur. And I'm curious if I can do as John. But, uh, yeah, and here we have to go down and meet um, Henry Lemieux. Which, Idealism and Pragmatism for Beginners, Part 1. Quite interesting. And then we didn't go here because I, 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 I can't remember what the deal is with... Uh, isn't that like a jail that we're not allowed on that island? Uh, it's like Alcatraz. Um, or <laughs> if we go to that island, we're going to be arrested. I don't know. There's a lot of uh, blurred out stuff that I don't know if I even had un unblurred. I'm pretty sure I had Armadillo unblurred uh, with Arthur. But anyway, let's get it on. I am going to leave here. And there's Rachel. So let's see H. Yo, horse. Um, I'm actually going to call this thing. And I'm going to leave you here as my marker. Okay? In the meantime, we're going to come back for you later. But I did also notice that on a replay that I watched, uh, I, I had pretty consistently turned the audio of the game down. Oh, wow. Sound volume is jacked. Dialogue balance? Hmm. Well, let's turn that up, because the dialogue was really quiet. Well, screw it. I'm going to make the... Oh, I probably knocked the dialogue down so that if I was talking, I, it wouldn't be overpowered. But anyway, it sounded really quiet. Let's give it a shot. Can't, can't do anything but try. Uh, I can't hear the stream as I play unless I open up another browser. And then when they talk and I talk, and it's like, you know, something that pro streamers do. Not this pro streamer, though. Okay, so I'm going to go with this, and back to the game. Rich baby, I'm coming back for you. Well, okay, I'm, I'm going to summon you, and you're going to ride down to where I am. I still have not figured out how to get in and out of this damn thing. Walk up to it and press E. Two. That's it. It's that simple. Walk up to it, take your fingers off all of the buttons, Press E, and then shift. Adios, Rachel. Okay, another thing I noticed uh, in the last go-round, I rewatched the uh, stream, and that, uh, that if I set a waypoint, and then I fly over the waypoint, like, I want to go up here to where I got the uh, legendary moose. I want to see that area. Now, we just did Dover Hill. That was uh, the crazy-ass doctor. So we're going to fly up there, and then we're going to continue coming around. But each time I hit a waypoint, it self-destructs. And then I just go and set a new waypoint. So I'm going to be using waypoints, not markers. I think that will help simplify things in my feeble old man brain. What? Oh, no. Do you want to overwrite that? Yes.
Alright, so apparently my orientation was heading south, and I need to go back north to uh, pick up that marker. Oh, hey, at least we will get to go over the falls. Um, so the dark, uh, the, the med doctor, Darko Magic, or um, Marco Dragic, yeah. Yeah, that, that's his place with the uh, lightning rod dome. And we just helped him taste lightning, or smell the lightning, whatever I said in the other title, but uh, yeah. He's kind of a whack job, and we're going to continue our trip up the river, over to the legendary moose location. But I really wanted to get by these falls during daylight, so that I could take a photo. I don't want to land and camp and change the time and all that stuff, but... We may never pass here again, right? So, part of me says... Land. Camp. Take a photo. Since I can't use the camera from... the rig... You know, I have the... the What's it called? Here. I have Xbox tools. So if I want to make a screen capture, that is a combination of Windows, Alt, plus print screen. Now, that's going to print somewhere else. And, all right, I'm fine with that. Just got to remember the shortcut is uh, Windows, Alt, print screen. Okay, so even though I'm flying past here at night, Windows, Alt, print screen. Oh! Nope. The screen turns... Ah. Uh, okay. Screenshot successfully saved to E. Epic Games. Yabba dabba do. But, you know, we still don't have the falls with good lighting. So, let's see. What did I do? Just, uh... Windows key print screen. And that gave me the screenshot save to Windows Epic Games Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, but I'm do. Alright. Oh, yeah. It's been a long time since I played. I think I used to know that in d back in the day. <laughs> back in the day. A year ago. <laughs> Man, I tell you what. But I tell you what. I have played a lot of games since last year. And, uh, if you're into it, dude, you like these open world things, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is phenomenal. It is also first chronologically in the series, but not first game release of the series. There's 11 games. They have two different studios. So each year, for 11 years, they've been releasing a game. Because, basically, it's a two-year development cycle for the game. And they bang one out at Company A. Two years later, they bang another one out at Company A. Two years later, they bang another one out in, at Company A. But the intermediate intermediate years, they bang one out at Company B, bang one out in Company B. Every other year, right? And that allows them to have a annual release schedule of Assassin's Creed games. It's been a super popular... Man, look at that. That is really a cool shot. They've been able to bang out games, man. And, uh... And the games are good, for the most part. They take place in different time periods. Um, they've worked out their own... Mm, what's called synchronicity. Um, let's have a look at where I'm going. Oh! Well, I guess I, I went up the river and bypassed. So we're, we're just going to set a new waypoint. So they figured out how to, uh, you know... They, they've got coordination between the two different teams regarding the story. Yeah, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is pretty tripped out. Or, Assassin's Creed series is tripped out. I have only thrown myself into Odyssey. It is such a huge game. I'm still not done with it. I've been playing it for a year. I mean, on and off, you know, I've got about 90 hours in the game, I think. But you can only do, like, for me, anyway, I, I can only stand so much of one game at a time. 
I rarely jump in a game and run through it start to finish without taking a break. Some point in between, it's like, holy cow, I've had too much Sniper Elite 5. And so I went and played Assassin's Creed Odyssey and realized, holy crap, I can't remember any of the controls. I wasn't, I haven't been here for a year. Same thing in Red Dead. Been a long time. Now, I've played it recently, a couple times. It's still lacking several game commands and, and keystrokes, but uh, for the most part, you know, you get with the program pretty quick when you've played it before in, in PC games. Oh, that's that's a really great picture. Now, am I going off? Yeah, I'm. I, I'm. I'm. I'm beyond the borders, dude. How far can I go? I can't believe they're letting me go this far outside the border. Whereas in some cases, aha, I am not going forward. I am going straight vertical. All right, so I am going to have to turn. And now, nope, I am still going straight vertical. I am not moving forward. Okay. Oh, because I am way out here. All right, I guess I'm just going to have to head for the border, or head for the marker. Waypoint? Yeah, way, waypoint. Let's get the lingo correct, shall we? Yes. And it doesn't look like I'm going forward. Okay, yes, yes I am. Based upon, I'm like, hand off the mouse. I am progressing down the waterway here. And the marker is over there. <laughs> Man, if only there was a speed control for this thing. Like, you know, 2x, 3x, maybe even 1x. Or, I'm sorry, 1.5x. <laughs> Let me go a little faster, please. And I know this balloon was in the game for a specific um, story object. Alright, so it looks like we blew past our marker. There's falls, and there's more falls. And honestly, I'm a sucker for waterfalls. So let's go ahead and let, let look at what... Uh, okay, we've been there. Brand new wine drop. Okay, so we've passed our waypoint. Let's go ahead and stick another waypoint right here. Then after that, we'll take a hard, hard right. So we're not far away from that marker. Really, I mean, as crow flies. But look at this. Look at this. Look how huge this place is, man. It's beautiful. Just absolutely mind-bogglingly, stunningly beautiful. As a tourist with a camera, <laughs> I'm I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the ride. Now we said this in the last video. Slow ride, take it easy. Yeah, I shouldn't sing, but but it's a slow ride, man. And it's exactly what I wanted um, out of the game, or any game, out of some game. I wanted to, like, find some game for my times when I just want to hang out and not do anything. I really don't necessarily want to go kill people, shoot people, chase down stagecoaches, sword fight guys in, uh, you know, Odyssey. But here we have a smokestack, and since I may never pass this way again, I'm going to take a quick look at the... Uh, falls over here. Oops. Okay, so I guess that's a pretty good picture. Oh, no, that's better with, uh, with a little bit of skyline in it. Bam. Now, we're going to go ahead and land just above this next set of falls. 
and see what this uh see what this uh, smoke signal is about. We may choose to or we may refuse to do whatever is happening around this fire at this camp. But, like I said, many things in life you may never pass this way again, so take advantage of them while you're there. As much as I was trying to just stick to the plan and go around the world, and it might become that there are so many frequent um, items, it really impedes going around the world. Maybe I'll just get hardcore and say, skip it. Once I discover them, I'll go back and visit them. I did write a couple things down on paper so I can return to them as easily as possible. Now there's a traveler right there riding his beautiful paint. You don't know how tempted I am to kill him and take his horse and put it in a stable so I can have a temporary horse. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that to you, mister. Damn it! No. Dude, we were intending to land. Okay, get out. What's going on up here? Hurry up. Someone's coming. Someone's coming. Uh, let's get it. Oh, jeez. Uh oh, no, oh, that other guy didn't die. Apparently that other guy did not die. Well, we're far enough out here that I don't think anybody's going to come after me for killing these bad guys. But maybe not, man. Let's see. Drop volcanic loot. Just loot. And... Oh, shit, really? Did someone come around and see me? These are a couple of bad guys who just killed a man. I just showed up to deliver some justice. Ah, oh, sorry, ma'am. Them boys shouldn't have done you like that. Let's see. Oops. Wrong game. What is my, um... Here we go. Detective vision. I don't see any glowing objects. I don't see nothing else to loot but them bodies. Well, that was a... Not a productive way to uh, to uh, spend our time. So I'm gonna go to the wheel, look at the items, get myself fixed up at least a little bit. Okay. I don't think we have anything for core items. Nope. A little, uh, a little bit of core, okay. I'll take that. And then... A little bit of heart. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Let's get boogieing. Get in, dude. Aw, oh, nuts. Did it again. Get out. Okay, just walk up, press E once. Boom, you're in. Boom, shift. Now I'm airborne. Uh oh, there's some red on the, uh, on the map. What's going on there? Let's see, I'm here, and there's red. 
the enemy. Hmm. I don't want to get in a fight. I'm just gonna keep down. I'm just gonna keep going. Set a new waypoint. <clears throat> you don't know how hard it is. Oh, look at that lightning! It's freaking awesome. I'm gonna try to avoid that enemy. Stick to the stick to the plan. Don't much like flying in the rain or the dark. It limits your ability to see stuff. Oh, yeah, man, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking over at chat to make sure I wasn't missing nothing. Oh, I have not been able to pick up a frickin' uh, a lightning strike in a photo. It's looking pretty, uh, looking pretty good in the world. Dawn. So, we are here. I'm going to go ahead and put a new waypoint down there. Just keep following this border. Probably not going to be looking to cheat the borders or fly beyond the borders anymore did that up north and uh, kind of didn't really get us anywhere. A, a dead zone where there's no story elements and there's no wildlife. So there's terrain. It'd be interesting to see how far it goes and like some, some of the borders blocked us from passing them and some allowed us to pass through them. So in Motocross Madness, back in the day, really old game, Motocross Madness 1 and 2, there were borders on the racetrack, and there were some borders that were impenetrable, and some that allowed you to pass through them, cross over them for a period of time, and then the clock would tick-tock and, and set you back, and like put you right back where you began, before you went off the border, or before you crossed the, bo the boundaries, right? But... I'm not, I'm not sensing that that's the way this game's working. So flying outside the boundaries, like, look, we can go up this water, this body of water, just keep going. And that, that all that stuff out that wood direction is, um, I guess I should have, could have kept going on this and just turned the, the camera. Oh, there you go. That actually is a really cool picture. Um, anyway... I don't think this game works the same. And let's see. Let's check out the map. What is below us? Reed Cottages, Black Balsam Rise. So that must be the Reed Cottage. Straight to our side. Whoa, that's a town, man. That's not a cottage. So where are we in relation to the Reed Cottage? I'll tell you what. Boy, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and, oops, I'm going to leave my marker out there, but I'm going to set a waypoint here. Oops. I'm going to leave my waypoint out there and set a marker over here. And there is the Reed Cottage. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, the Reed, the Reed Cottage is over that rise down there in the valley by the water, apparently. This is a, a town that's not showing up on the map. Could be because I'm across the border, but why would they have put a town here across the border? <gasps> Do you see that waterfall? Or is that just rain in a valley? Okay, 
right through my basket, right above my character's head now. There's like this mist. I don't know if that's a waterfall or if that's just rain off in the distance. This town honestly looks like I've been here before. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Ansberg. We've been there before, for sure. All right, so I'm going to eliminate these markers. And get busy heading uh, towards the marker. Because, been here, done that, seen that town. Didn't have a good time, if I recall. I can't really recall. <laughs> But Okay, the, the map boundary wants us to go Oh There's dotted line defining a territory apparently No, I think that's a road Yeah, that must be a road So, it looks like I can follow this Oh, long, long line two dots, long line, two dots, border. And that is what we will be doing. Man, it's cool looking. So, Ansberg has a big, huge waterway right there. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so we're going to be getting down to it and taking a left to follow the waterway. Well, at the edge of the water right here. Man, it's cool. Okay. I think I'm in one of those situations where... Am I really moving forward? Yeah, I guess I am. Yep. I am going forward. I'm telling you, it's beautiful, isn't it? Just freaking cool. Gonna have to figure out where all these epic screenshots are going. Maybe stick them on the website or something. Oh, oh there, there's the waypoint below us, so we're already there. Okay, now it's allowing us to continue going out this way. I wonder if there's undiscovered country that you only get to play as John. I'm I'm having my doubts. But look at that body of water. Rolling hills, tree covered properties. Now, see the mini map and and, and the, the, the terrain below me are not on the same page. I guess that marker is at the edge of... I just, I just passed the marker. It's on the edge of the water. And I'm above land, and it looks like the land goes straight in the direction we're heading, but there's, there's a huge body of water jagging off to our left. So he's moving forward towards a body of water. Okay. All right. Let's 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 have a look where we're putting our next marker. Oh wow! Look at that. Well, the map is letting us set a marker in that direction. It shows that we're following the the water line, but. 
Really heading towards that red marker. He's not really following the waterline. There appears to be a maximum elevation, but you have to stay hard, hard on the gas and the forward arrow, E key, shift and E, to motor forward. So, in, on the minimap, it looks like I am over water, and I guess technically I am over water. But I believe I'm stalled out. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not moving forward at all. He's continuing to climb, but I'm a, I'm in a dead zone. Yeah, still in a dead zone. Okay, so let's just try to cross the water. Head towards a the marker there. And on you know my visualization, I guess technically I'm above the water. So let's go there, and you can see the bushes in front of the basket are not moving whatsoever. So I'm stagnate or stagnant. There has to be some kind of indicator. Look at the tilt of the balloon in the ba uh, versus the basket. So, let's go ahead and... Yeah, I'm still not making any forward momentum. Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's dive back towards... This area. Now, I can see that I am moving. Based upon the back of the basket is... There, there's land crawling b behind my basket. And let's see, if we look this way... Yeah, real slow progress uh, with the stuff on the ground as we go forward. So there, there's, there's a boundary or a barrier there. And then... We should have a town coming up in front of us. And that must be Van Horn Trading Post, way out in the distance there that we can see. Boy, oh boy, it doesn't seem like we're that far away. Looks like I'm stalled again. Yeah, I'm not moving. Dag nabbit. Alright, well. Um let's go ahead and tag Van Horn. Maybe if we're moving in that extreme direction, we're gonna get there. Yeah, it looks like we've started to move. You can see the river passing below the butt of our basket. Below the butt of our basket. Now, I wonder if we could go jump in a boat and head across the river onto this side of the river. And is this side of the river completely devoid of life? Like, uh, hunting opportunities? Fishing holes? Now there's another, you know, camp with a smokestack, but I'm just going to skip that one because the last one was not nothing more than a couple of robbers. Ah, there's the prison island. All right, so we are making some headway. I'm going to kind of stay head in this direction. I, th I wonder if I fly over the prison, if they're going to shoot at me. And what if I... Oh, man. If only I could save while I'm up in this rig. Can I do it? Settings. Oh, how do you do the save game? Uh, progress. Story. Compendium. Oh, man. Where in hell? Save game. Error story. Save game. 
Boy, oh boy, I guess I'm going to overwrite my oldest save. And it really hasn't uh, changed anything except the date. Alright, so if I do meet with a horrible death, I might be able to restart at this place. Wow, look at that. Is that Sandoni back there? Down there? Van Horn Trading Post. Then we get down to the... Uh... Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, Siska. Sisica Penitentiary. And, yeah, it's just outside San Denis. Alright, doesn't look like I'm getting anywhere. So I'm gonna have to reorient. Yeah, for a minute there I was just going forward. You can see this the, the cant or the slope to the balloon. I think that has some kind of indication about that you're flying too close to the edge or who knows. So I am moving forward. If you look at the butt of the basket, we are we are leaving water beneath us. I'm so 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 tempted to uh, grab another save or overwrite the current save as we get really closer and closer to the penitentiary, and then just land inside the penitentiary because the game doesn't typically allow this, and here we are with a mod that <laughs> allows this. Do stuff. So if I kill the fire and I descend, I just go straight down and drop like a rock. So I can't descend while weighting myself forward. I always got to be on the elevation, the ascent, to go forward. So as, as slowly as this thing descends, I think I really need to get way down to the ground. Once I get over the uh, the farm field near the penitentiary there, I'm going to come in low. Now, I don't have any... any. Uh, I don't have my repeater. I don't have a lever action. don't have nothing. Except pistols. So I can go in uh, double fisted. Yeah, I know it's a laugh a minute, isn't it? It takes a little while to get going. Once you cut throttle. So, if anybody's following the Elon Musk thing, you know, Twitter claims that only 5% of our user base are bots. Eh, bullshit. And Elon Musk has challenged that, right? He's trying to buy Twitter. He's like, well, you know what? I think there are more bots than 5%. I think there's 15 or 20%. Um, other people say it's about 50%. But, um, he's already made his offer, so he can't... I, I don't think... I don't think this is a tactic or a ploy to renege or de uh, depreciate the offer, uh, but tw Twitter stock has dropped like a rock since he made the offer, and uh, people stand to make a 
buttload of money. So they're not going to give up on selling the, 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 the company to him. But he, he has a justifiable point, I think, in saying that, hey, if you got... You know, you reported 5% bots, but now we, you've given us the data and we discover there's 20% bots. We want a 20%, uh, we're going to reduce our offer by 20%. And maybe that can be legally wrangled. Who knows? Uh, why did I bring that up? Because Twitch has bots. YouTube has bots. Twitter has bots. Facebook has bots. Um, you know, unless somebody's talking to you and you can interact with them in chat and they a a answer a direct question... You know, I've, I've seen video replays, yeah, or what are they called, uh, webinars. A webinar where there's actually somebody, they're replaying the webinar, they're replaying the slides, they're replaying the original audio, but they have a little character moderator. It is a human being, but it's not the two people speaking in, you know, it's their moderator. And so if you ask a question, they'll come up with some bullcrap answer. But it's not going to be actually coming live from the two speakers because it's a pre-recorded webinar, and you're getting spoofed that uh, that it's that it's a it's it's a live event, but it's not. It's a replay of an event that they play over and over and over, and that one person just hangs around in chat to answer questions. It really is a slime bag, sleazy business model, in my opinion. But uh, that's kind of what's happening with Twitch and YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and webinars and, well, I guess, podcasts or some different animal altogether. But most podcasts are legit, live people talking, and if they have a, a person chime in, um, then it's a real person. Uh oh Wanted. Crime reported. Well, now we know what's going to happen. Dagnabbit. Uh, I'm just going to keep going up. Passing over the island. They they will alert. Holy cow, there are a lot of bad guys there. I think I'm going to get up. Oh, I died. No. Oh, man. I thought I was going to get up high enough that they, they, they wouldn't be putting the kill on me. Shucks. Well, now what happens? I gotta get over to the streaming software. Oh no. Really, dude? I started here? Well, I guess they couldn't have started me in, uh. Well, pretty much anywhere else. Alright, so there's, there's the prison. That's what we were trying to fry, fly over. Fry over. Um, so we're gonna give up on that. And just put a, a waypoint there. But we aren't going to use our horse. We're going to go ahead and do this. Uh-oh. <laughs> ah. Well, I think now we're screwed. Okay, so we're going to have to reload that last save. Let's go with story. Load game. Um, auto save. That was funny. And it, it, uh, I can't. The, the 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 balloon's gonna spawn in front of me, so maybe all I have to do is turn around 180 degrees on that dock. Voila! Instead of spawning it in the water. <laughs> that was pretty cool. There's been some really interesting, unexpected things that have happened in games I've played over years and years and years. And, uh, honestly, I really couldn't describe many of them to you. But, uh, alright, so just a minute ago, we, we were down here. So I'm going to go ahead and... Me and Rachel are going to giddy up to that location. Really, all that matters is we're in Copper Landing. And we need to get going to the next joint. See if there's anything here that we need or want. I really don't think so. Let's see. What is it called? Um, eh. Snooper vision. Alright, and let's be facing this direction. Nope. Nope. That way. And call the balloon. 
para para uh, what's para isn't it tara there we go okay so out there is the prison and uh, ahead is Saint Denis and we can't go near that prison apparently even as John but uh, how, how I, I think if we as the crow flies as long as we stay out of the red zone we should be fine Yeah, there's a whole bunch of nothing to see in a misty morning. But, you can tell we are making forward progress. We're going to beat that tugboat. There's a prison. Or a penitentiary. Whatever. Probably some crocodiles down there in that little chunk of trees. Railroad tracks. Sandini. A ship out in the water. Oh man, that'd be interesting. Could we land on the ship? Oh man. Well, I wouldn't want to do it without doing a save, but the save is going to actually put us at some near the nearest checkpoint um, location. So let's just fly real low over the ship. There's a stagecoach off to our right. Or, no, I'm not a, a covered wagon, not a stagecoach. Just a regular citizen heading for town. And there goes another one. A little wagon leaving town. Oh, there's all kinds of little activity down there. People in wagons doing commerce. Looks a lot smaller from the air, doesn't it? It's really weird how they kind of like built the... Oh, I don't know. Zigzag, diagonal shape uh, following the roads. Kind of a inner city cluster when there's so much room that they could have spread out and made a nice grid pattern or a nice... Uh, pie, pie pattern. Yeah, city zoning goes a long way. And back, they didn't have it back in the day. That just looks like a chaotic mess. Yeah, and actually, when you're down there on the ground riding around, oh look, the the, the freaking train just spawn, popped in. What do they call that? Not spawned. Um, yeah, pop in. So I'm gonna keep my eye on that train. See how far how far away it goes before it just poof disappears, pops out. I don't think it's gonna get down there into the swamps. I think it's just gonna disappear when it hits uh kind of the end of that when it hits the end of the line there. We're about to find out. Yeah. The mystery train to nowhere. It just starts disappearing. <laughs> it just dissolved. That was cool. Alright, so I guarantee that we could probably set her down on top of this boat. No, is that boat a solid object? I guess that would be the first things to figure out. Then, wow, man, they got some really big shrimp boats or trawlers or I don't know what those are called out here. This is a paddle boat. With a big old upper deck we can land on. So I'm going to try to land on this paddle boat. I doubt we'll be able to take control of the paddle boat. But if we can land on it, then we can get off and explore, and then we can get back on our balloon.
Boom. It is a solid object. Look at that. Come on, dude. Jump out. Oh, I still don't know how to get this guy out of the, out of the rig. No, not duck. Dummy. There it is. We're out. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, random sneezes come from nowhere. Anyway, let's, uh, oh, if we jump down, will we be able to get back up? It doesn't, I don't see any stairs. There we go. Stairs going down. And random sneezing continues. So we probably could have come out here, swam out here, or brought a boat out here. Man, what the hell? Uh, but, you know, it, it's a ghost boat. There ain't nothing going on. Apparently it's anchored here while everybody from on the boat is off the boat. Really? Random sneezing continues? I wish it would stop. Yep, can't get in there. I really don't think there's anything to do on this boat. But it was kind of a fun experiment. Same thing is going to be true of these other boats. At least if they're stationary. Hang on a second. <laughs> yep, I'm sorry. Nature calls different ways. So, the moving boats are kind of interesting. There might be some uh, animated characters on them, but I kind of doubt it. But man, San Denis looks very different from here, doesn't it? I think so. There's that big old church. Bunch of smokestacks. Thoughts as a fishing boat. Don't, aren't those booms? They lower those booms and they drop out uh, giant nets. Thought that was like a shrimp trawler. Maybe not. Maybe that's just cargo booms. They set some cargo on the decks. Okay, so I'm not going to dick around with the uh, landing on the boats anymore. Even the moving boats, etc., etc. But th this is something you don't see from in the game. You don't go joyriding in the, uh, uh, what do you call them? Oh, look at that. We just barely missed our marker. So we're in good shape as far as trying to get around this map. We have actually done the whole east side. So I'm going to wrap this one up right here and now. Um, and then from Saint-Denis, well, let's, let's see how far we can go south. And then we'll call it a day. Okay. Looks like we can go across the river. But on the map, yeah, we're in the water. They don't show the edge of the land on the other side. Yeah, okay, I'm already, I can see that uh, I'm going nowhere. I'm going straight up, but I'm not moving forward. So I have to be going in this direction, apparently, to get this thing. Headed in the right direction. <clears throat> yep, yep, yep. All right. Well, I'm going to guess that uh, if we quit now, um, the, they would probably put us here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a marker here. I'm going to land at that spot. Then I'm going to save the game so we can continue. In fact, it doesn't really matter if I land on the marker. Uh, just anywhere along the coast here. Or, yeah, 
we will respawn, I think, at the nearest checkpoint or the nearest spawn point. Um, hey, there's another riverboat. Paddle boats. In, in uh, dock there. There's two of them. A bunch of duplicate boats. Space fillers. I think after this I'm going to go jump into some Assassin's Creed and do some active gaming because uh, I've kind of had enough chill time. It was fun. I enjoyed this. I'm going to cover the south coast and then I'm going to go back along the west coast up to that northwest corner where I began and then theoretically the entirety of the map will have been revealed. Um, and we'll pick it up on the next episode of the air ballooning and after that I'll probably get busy with some fish and hunting stuff I haven't got all the uh, legendary fish or uh, hunted animals I've gotta go get that legendary bear I have the proper weapon I just don't know if I have the skill <laughs> now when I went there I had uh, less than optimal weapon now I have a good weapon I should be able to get that done pretty quick and easy and then I want to do some more fishing in that guy's lake. Um, that dude that we made friends with. He's got the cabin next to the lake by Legendary Bear way up north. So, I'm going to take her all the way down to the ground. But you know what? I really don't want to land on this. Uh, on the railroad track, so we're going to head for that... Uh, this little piece of greenery next to the pond <laughs> well, so we can stay away from the power lines and not die it's pretty funny if the power lines were active and you could die from them that would be kind of cool and then again there would be so many instances in the game where you'd be cursing that no the power lines got me boom I am on the ground Jump out. And I am out of the balloon. And let's go ahead and have a look at this. Turn to me, John. There you go. Dude. Yeah, there you go. Oh, man. All right. Bam. There's a picture. And we will continue this another day. Game rate is gone. Oh, got to do the save. Story. Save game. Overwrite. Okay, now I'm gone.